Oh, let's talk about this one. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, what's his name again? This guy's name. Um, oh fucking hell. What's his name from Come Town? What's the guy's name from Come Town? Everyone, remind me. What's his fucking name? The comedian from Come Town that everyone in LA is now sucking him off. Weirdly enough, which is strange to see. Um, but yeah, is it Stavros? I think it's Stavros, right? I think it's Stavros. Um, the little uh, semi bald fat dude. I'm sure it's Stavros. Yeah, Stavros him. So Stavros was on the uh, Burt Crash's podcast recently, and this clip came from it again because of the fire and the kids subreddit which i think is absolutely incredible because this is the first time that i think we've seen someone who isn't in that kind of la comedy sub orbit whatever it may be calling them out on this specific point that i see gets spoken about a lot on the forums people always make a point about this being the one thing that annoys them and i know for me being a real big joe rogan fan this is the one thing that always used to piss me off about rogan whenever rogan would start talking about people that work like regular jobs and he'd make it seem as if like everyone that's got a nine to five hates their job and they're all itching and dying to be making handmade furniture and knives and all this sort of nonsense and barbecues i don't know he has this weird idea in his head that somehow every bit of work that doesn't include you pursuing your passion is somehow meaning meaningless and doesn't have any sort of um, benefit to anybody. It's just bizarre. Then on the back of that, he also has this weird thing that he always says um, about um, when it comes to stand-up comedy in relation to people that pay you to watch him perform and he refers them as like civilians or whatever it may be and it was usually being kind of just like oh i was making a joke with this guy and he's a civilian he's a regular dude he didn't get what i was talking about he didn't he doesn't know what i'm talking about he doesn't get it as if like civilians don't have any idea how jokes are formed you know what i mean like we're living in like two different planets it's, it's a completely um detached from reality point of view like and it really and if anything it's kind of one of those point of view that kind of exposes you or kind of lets you know that these guys aren't like us i mean they, they even though they try to larp like they're regular guys they're not really regular guys because essentially they're all multi-millionaires and they're all fairly unintelligent too because they essentially made a career off of telling dick jokes and flipping pars and bars and pubs around the country i mean you don't exactly do that by spending time reading and shit so it's good to see that stavros finally called him out on that point because it's always something that's always kind of bugged me and of course the person that said it was burt crasher because you know he loves to kind of repeat those little um cliche points about comedy because it just sounds good in the sentence but it doesn't actually mean anything so yeah let me play this clip so you can hear what they say and like it's so funny a comic's brain is so different than an, than a pedestrian's brain and like what <laughs> You know, like I can't help. I went. Pedestrian to a, is so funny, by the way. Oh, like saying that. I said. I said to a woman. I said to a woman the other it's day. It's better than civilian. Yeah. That drives me crazy. It's like we're not in the fucking armed force. Let's fucking react. Relax. There's a lot of people that, that overuse that <laughs> really civilian. Do. It's like we are fucking so lucky we get to do this bullshit. Yeah. Any person on the street I respect more than even my favorite comic. Let's put let's get that out there. Is that like we 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 give so much less to society than a fucking a janitor. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God for Stavros. Thank you so much for finally saying it. And hello, that Bert trying to um, act like he gets it as well. No, yeah, you're right. Actually, no, 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 no. You you love all that fucking civilian nonsense talk that fucking uh, bro, bro, what you call it that Joe Rogan loves to pedal all the time because it makes you guys feel important. But I don't necessarily know where that even started from. Where did that all come from? This idea that somehow civilians and pedestrians and whatnot all this stuff don't get jokes or they don't understand what it is to be a comic like what the fuck you motherfuckers just go on stage and just tell shitty jokes on there most of you aren't even good at what you do <laughs> most of them sorry most of them aren't that good they're not that good mate they're flipping cr they're flipping terrible what they do and yet they are flipping telling you that oh yeah you don't get you don't get these jokes man these jokes are too high brown man it's like what the fuck are you talking about? Go look after your children, bro. The kids need the kids need tucking in. Need looking after. But anyway. Um was it just Steve says Joe elevate comics to an unfounded level? You're true. Joe doesn't do anything. I really started questioning Joe's character and mindset recently due to your circle of friends and people considering friends and coming from serious 
uh, Joe Rogan's support. No, to be honest, I don't, I don't question Joe that much in that respect because I still think in terms of rich, incredibly rich media types, he's still really cool. It's very rare nowadays I can think of anybody that's on his level that isn't a complete dickhead. Everyone's got an element of dickheadness about them. It just is what it is. When you get to that kind of level and you get that many adults, like imagine how, like just picture it for one second, guys, right? Joe Rogan became incredibly famous when, when he was doing that show, right? Um, that reality TV show. And he must have been, what age was he? Was he like in his mid 30s, late 40s? But then he became an absolute stone cold multi millionaire, close to being a billionaire in his 50s, right? And now he's like a household name. He's, he's basically like the male version of Oprah. Most guys getting that kind of attention and getting that kind of adulation, especially if you're doing something, it's just podcasting, right? Talking to a microphone, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to do something to your head. It's hard for it not to change you. So the fact that Joe Rogan has stayed fairly similar, fairly same throughout the entirety of the time that he's been doing a Joe Rogan podcast says a lot about him. Do you know what I mean? He could, he could be worse that's what I'm saying. I think he, I, I know he's, especially when he started making those comments about UBI, I was like, wow, bro, this guy is completely diff changed, isn't he? He's completely gone to the right completely. He moved to Austin and he completely adopted their entire politics completely. Um, and obviously he's anti union stuff. Like he's a bit weird in some regards. But overall, I still think in terms of cool multimedia, sorry, multi millionaire media types, Joe Rogan's definitely at the top in terms of how safe and chill he is for the most part. And also the fact that one thing that I think he doesn't get enough credit for, which he should get more credit for, is the fact that he is so unselfish with his platform. He will have people on there legitimately who you've never heard of before and allow them to go on there and, you know, promote themselves and sell out, you know, and and sell out of their books and shit, promote their shows, showcase their skills, the talent, whatever it may be, that platform, he just, it's really undemocratic in that way. If he likes you and he's a fan of you, he'll get you on the show. It doesn't matter who you are. If you've got 10 followers, one follower, a 1,000 followers, like, that's something that I think doesn't get enough props. He doesn't get enough props for because people take it for granted, but more people don't do that. Do you know what I mean, the fact that he's so nice like that. Um, goes a long way and I'm sure he does many things for people behind the scenes too that people don't talk about as well like he's a, he's a top lad in that respect so yeah um, he can be annoying but I still think you know overall when you weigh up everything I still think it's more good than bad to him personally